What's up, Dub Nation, everybody? Thank you for clicking on this video. If it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Today, we're going to be stitching out this right here, the uh, Soccer Mom Soccer Ball PES.PES .PES design. If you haven't purchased your design yet, go over to alanaway.com and purchase your design now. If you haven't purchased your brother SE600 to stitch along with us, go over down in the description below and click my Amazon button and purchase your SE600 or your PE800 so you can digitize and stitch along with us. Let's jump straight into it, guys. Getting straight into it, you see the brother SE600 set up right here. We got our soccer ball, soccer mom design up. You see it's gonna take 24 minutes, 12 minutes for the white and 12 minutes for the black. We've already hooped up and we got our fabric in place. We got our stabilizer at the bottom with our piece of curtain linen at the um, on top of it and we're just gonna hit the start so we can go ahead and start stitching out the design guys let's go if you haven't purchased your brother se 600 use my link down below in the description if you'd like to purchase this file so you can stitch along with me go to alanaway.com and download this file right now it's only one dollar so you can have it and stitch it out with me for one dollar this part right here is going to take 12 minutes. Like I said before, you see the SE600 stitching out the background and then it's going to stitch out the black part. Let's skip ahead to where you can see more of the design. Just let yours stitch out. In the PE Design software, in case you guys want to know, I use PE Design 10 to create this embroidery file, the digitized file. In the software, I created it so that these uh, icons where the black is going to stitch out, one, two, over here, and over here, I made it blank so that the black will stand out more. That's the reason why I did that. Uh, because anytime I originally did it where well, the whole thing was white, but then the black would stitch over it and you could see some of the white peeking, white peeking through. So um, that's why I did it like that and you guys will bet, get a better result when you see it. All right, let's skip ahead a little bit more. Halfway through, you can already see the uh, soccer ball starting to take shape. Check it out. Pretty cool. Give this video a like if you like where this is going. Give this video a like if you want me to do the football or basketball design next. I think those are probably the next two I'm going to uh, tackle. Followed by the Thanksgiving cooked turkey. And I might throw in a little bit of extras in between there. So. Stay tuned guys. And this thing is still stitching out, looking good. It's almost good enough to leave just like this so you guys see the quality of file that you're getting for $1 on alanaway.com. All of my files are this high quality and you can purchase any of them on the site alanaway.com for $1 for, for your uh, brother SE600 or your PE800, whichever one you prefer to get but just make sure you use my link below if you haven't purchased your machine already. If you have, that's fine too. Just go over to the website and purchase any of the files that you wish or purchase all of them. I'm gonna start putting together some packs now because I have over 20 now, I think. So I'm gonna start putting together some special package deal deals where you can get like, you know, like 10 of them for like six bucks or something like that. So stay tuned for that and check back on the site. We're done with this. I'm going to switch out the colors. Now, uh, one of my subscribers commented, I read a comment earlier today saying another method, another pro tip on how to switch out thread. I'm going to try it right now. So she says, cut the thread right here. Take out the current thread. Of course, use your spool saver so that your thread doesn't get tangled up. Links down below. And then she says, I'm putting it black now, tie one piece of thread to the other thread. I'm just interested to see if this works. Tie one piece of thread to the other thread. So now you got to use your tying skills, which I'm not very good at at all. Let me get over top of it. All right. So I finally got the tie in. So I'm going to release this. And apparently I'm supposed to be able to pull this knot right through the needle. Let's see if it works. Uh, oh, look at that. That worked. Um, now, to me, 
I don't mind switching out the thread, I know the, but you're still wasting some thread right here if you guys can see. I don't mind wasting, um, uh, switching out the other way. It, it, it's fast if you ask me, I know how to do it good, but that's just another, I guess, a tip for you guys. So if you guys wanna do that, cause you don't feel like taking it out and re-threading it, I guess you can do that too, it worked. It did give me a little bit of problems uh, around this area pulling it through and definitely going through the tip of the needle. If you're not, it's too big, I guess you can probably break your needle, but my needle didn't break. So I guess we could say that's a success and that's a threading hack. And that tip came from Mary Guy. Shout out to you, Mary Guy. Your uh, pro tip actually works. All right, so you guys can use that. Thank you, Mary, Mary uh, Guy, for sharing that with us. I appreciate it. See, that's what this community is all about, sharing tips and tricks with each other so that we can make stuff easier for ourselves when we're trying to do stuff. When stitching out stuff like this, the, what you want to avoid is you want to avoid the machine stitching over some of these lines. So you want to kind of like get a feel of what you want to cut so that it doesn't end up getting stitched into your design or put in a place where you can't cut it after it's done. So, so far we're doing all right. All right. So now this is going that way. That's okay too. Now it's gonna do another one, I think, to maybe over here, maybe? Yeah, now it's gonna go down. So you see we gotta make one, two, three, four cuts so far. All those little small thread pieces we gotta cut. Mm -hmm. Now it's gonna go from here to there. Then I believe here to here, I think. We'll see. This is the part where you follow along. This is why I make these videos. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six cuts so far. Now I believe it's gonna go from here to down here to down here, something like that. Okay, yep. Yeah. Here to there. And then I think it's gonna go here and then here. When it gets over here, I'll stop it. Oh. All right, did that. Now it's gonna go in the corner. How do I know this? Because I made the design. Yep, all right, so now I'm gonna stop it. Press that button, stop button right there. And now I'm gonna make all these cuts. All right, let me show you how to make one cut and then you guys can do the rest. And I have my tweezers today. So just reach under here, grab your scissors and just cut, grab the other end. The other end if you have tweezers. If not, you can use your fingers, grab the other end and cut. See, nice and clean, cut tweezers cut nice and clean cuts off cleaner when you have tweezers because you can like really get a good handle on it your fingers can't as long as you have a firm grip with the tweezers now this is just cleaning it up these little white ones right here that go over the white part you can actually leave because we're not actually stitching anything else over the white areas but I'm just cleaning up the design so you guys can see See it start to take shape. All right. Boom, get in there. Trim that. Get under here. So I'm just gonna finish, finish cleaning this up and I'll be right back. All right, we're all cut up. And now, see this right here? I can leave that. I'll show you why. It's gonna stitch right over it anyway. So you can leave that and let the machine stitch right over it because that's gonna be a black part right there. So gotta be stitch aware. Stitch awareness is what we're gonna call this. Stitch awareness. All right, so just let, let it do its thing and I'll be right back. Just in case you want to see what it looks like in between, you see it's starting to take shape. A few jump stitches we gotta cut right here, this one and this one, but everything's starting to come together. Just keep on letting us do its thing. It's gonna go from over here to over here, then it's gonna start Filling in, you'll see. 
All right, at this point, guys, all the jump stitches that happens at this point in the design, you could just leave and cut at the end, all the way at the end of the design, because it's not doing anything that's going to interfere with the looks. It is going to stitch over this part and over this part, but and if you want to, you can cut them right now, but it's not necessary. You can just, I recommend not walking away from the machine while it's stitching out, but technically you can, like, walk away from the machine and let it finish out the design and come back and then stitch everything out because you can basically see the entire soccer ball now you know it's just going to do an outline so you could actually stop it right here if you want to and be complete your design right right here you press the stop button right here and you could actually just cut it and leave it like this if you wanted to you know but we're going to just go ahead and let it finish out the design all right actually i like no this part right here you definitely want to cut this you don't want to actually you don't definitely you know but you you because it's going to stitch out here 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 and that would make a loose thread right here see because it went here to here and we got a loose thread so when it stitches out from here to here here that loose thread is going to be in the middle and then you're going to have to cut a little small one so i recommend just cutting this i do recommend just cutting that right here so grab your tweezers and just go ahead and cut this one so Hope you guys didn't stop and uh, see this later. So yeah, boom, grab it and cut it. Put that back down and continue on. All right, now it's gonna do the border. This is where this starts jumping a little bit. Don't panic, it's gonna be fine. It's just going over some thick portions. See what I mean? But it's fine, it's fine. All right, so far we're doing great guys. Design looks great. And this one also you're gonna cut because it went from here to over here. So I'm just gonna stop the machine right now and clip this one. Clip that one. You guys will get the hang of where you need to make the clips because I don't want this to stitch. It's gonna go around this perimeter and come down here and I don't want that little tangle to be intertwined in the design. And then I have to cut something really, really small at the end. That's why I'm doing that. And after it does this, it's gonna go to here and then it's gonna go all the way around. You guys will see. All the way around the design. All right, watch the jump. I should make it start just right there instead of doing this little silly jump, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna go to, ahead and let it stitch over that. It's not a big deal. It's gonna cover that up anyway. So it's just going around the design. And when it gets to the edges that it joins another line, it's gonna jump a little bit, watch. Maybe not so much, but <laughs> it will. And um, on, on some parts, some areas it will, but not a big deal. And it approaches the end and finishes up, guys. And we are all done with the design. So let us clean it up and see how it came out. Cut all of our threads. One swipe underneath, cut all our threads and see what's up. See all the threads we got to cut here, all the loose threads. Easy peasy. Just trim along, trim along, trim along. Cut the other ends and then we are done. And here's our final, guys. Looks like a soccer ball, right? Boom, doom, doom, doom. Poof. Looks like a soccer ball. Cool. AlanAWay.com, $1, buy your soccer ball and embroider it with your family, make it a family activity right now. As always, Dub Nation, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and joining me today. It's always fun making videos and showing you guys what interesting and cool designs I can come up with on the Brother SE600 and making them available to you at alanaway.com so you guys can stitch along with me. It's uh, very, very dope to read you guys' comment and to learn and grow with each other, guys. Continue doing so, and I continue, uh, I'll continue to make these videos, guys. It's my pleasure talking to you guys today, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. King Alan Alexander on all social medias. Well, Adub Productions on Instagram, Adub Productions on Facebook. Follow me there and King Adub on 
Facebook, follow that page. Also, don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. It's your boy, Alan Wade. Peace. I'm out. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?